Hello and welcome to the first unit of the Go programming tutorial from tutorialcoding.com. In this unit I will show you a simple program written in Go that prints the string hello world. There. More importantly though, I will explain what the individual lines mean, what the Go workspace is and how to execute this program. The program starts with the package name, which is main. This tells the compiler that this is an executable package and it contains a function called main in good C tradition. The second part imports the thumped package from the standard library. This provides a collection of functions to read, format and write strings. The third part implements the main function which is the starting function of the compiled executable. It uses the println function from the thumped package to write hello world string with a new line to the standard output. Contrary to other languages in the C syntax family, semicolons at the end of lines are optional and you will see few of them when reading or writing Go programs. Go sources are Unicode UTF-8 encoded by specification, so there will never be doubt on how they are interpreted. The second variation of the main function printing the Japanese equivalent of Hello World, Konnichiwa Sekai, works perfectly fine. Go programs can be compiled and executed in place with the Go run command but conventionally Go uses workspaces, which are a way to organize files. A workspace is located at the base path that is set with the Go path environment variable. This contains three subdirectories. The source directory contains all the source code for libraries and executables. The bin directory contains all the compiled and installed executables. It's useful to add this to the path environment variable to make them available everywhere. The pkg directory contains object files for library packages. It contains a subdirectory for the OS and CPU architecture. In this example, the foo package is an executable. Then go install is run. With this package, it compiles and puts the binary in the bin folder. The workspace is important here because the go install command can be run from anywhere in the file system. The bar package is not an executable. The compiler won't expect it to have a main function and will build it as a set of shared object files that are put in the pkg directory. This function and the functions and types of this package can be imported in other packages. The graph in the previous slide was simplified for posterity, but the example is prone to package name collisions. Packages in the source directory should have a path that won't collide with the standard library and other people's packages. The favored solution is to map a control URL to the source directory. This example shows the hello package in a path on GitHub. Note, this is a local structure. I don't have this repository on GitHub, but because I use my GitHub username, it will ensure that my hello package won't collide with anyone else's. Also note, Go does support hosting providers like GitHub and provides tools to quickly clone and install Go packages from the internet. Name collisions are mostly an issue for library packages throughout the Go ecosystem, so installed executables are not placed in nested directories like the sources. The command at the bottom of the slide installs the package. This means it compiles the source code to native binary and places it in the bin directory. This is the practical demonstration slide. I create the Hello World program. Then 
First, I will compile and execute it in place with the go run command. This doesn't rely on any workspace. After that, I show the workspace setup. I use the go install command to compile and install the hello world program using the workspace. Finally, I show how to use the inbuilt reference documentation. So here I added the hello.go source file. I save it, exit and run it with the go run command in place. And it shows the expected output. I have the go path environment variable set. and it has the three subdirectories. The bin directory is currently empty. I use the go install command to uh, compile and install the hello package binary. And I use the relative path in the workspace. It places the executable in the bin directory and I can execute it, resulting in the output. The bin directory is part of my path environment variables, so I can execute the hello program from anywhere in the system. The go doc command shows information about packages and it also, also shows information about functions or types inside packages. To summarize this unit, the go run command is used to build and execute packages in place. Note that this does not leave any binary behind. The go install command compiles and installs packages in the workspace. Finally, the go doc command provides reference documentation for packages. Thanks for watching. As always, you can find the unit sources and notes on the tutorialcoding.com website that you can reach by clicking on the orange annotation. If you found this unit video insightful and enjoyable, please like it and leave a comment. Subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow my Google Plus or Twitter feed. Goodbye.